Hello and welcome everyone. It is time for Jim Comics Top Picks for New Comic Book Day this upcoming Wednesday, August 7th, 2019. Do we have a good week of comics coming this week? Oh boy. There we go. I dropped an old boy right at the beginning of my video. Yeah, it's a good one. Your wallets are going to be hurting this week. My wallet was hurting last week. It's going to be even worse this week. But anyways, we'll get into it shortly. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers on YouTube, followers on Instagram. You're all awesome, and I mean it. I say it every week, but I really mean it. Uh, great tips, info, questions, everything. You're all awesome, so thank you so much. Um, I want to give a comic shop shout-out this week to The Comic Hunter. They are in Moncton, New Brunswick. They, uh, they actually have three brick and mortar locations. There's one in, uh, I, don't have, I didn't write down all the, all the um, addresses and everything, but they are on the east coast of uh, Canada. So they do have three brick and mortar stores. I'll put down the address for the Moncton store because uh, they also have an eBay store, which I ordered from. And they were really good because I ordered a couple different books at different times. And instead of just taking my money and shipping the books out, they said, hey, man, we'll ref refund you the difference. And put them together, save you a bit of cash, and I really like that. I, I really appreciate uh, stores being honest and upfront with your customers. So they are my comic shop. Shout out today. There's images on the screen. They look like a really cool store. Apparently they have a huge back issue bin too, so or a back, back issue selection, I should say, right back to Golden Age. So if you're looking for stuff, give them a shout or check them out. Send them a, a message on eBay. I'm sure they'll help you out. Or if you're in the area, stop by, say hello. Set up a pull list. Address and phone numbers down in the comments as usual. So Comic Hunter is my shout out today um, and last week I uh, mentioned that Nick at Key Collector is giving out a free one week trial um, so that is on the screen again he said you, you know if you haven't tried it out give it a shot it's uh, there's no no um, gimmicks or anything you just put in the code Jim Comics try it for a week if you like it you know get a subscription I, I have a subscription to it um, I really like it it's really good he gives you tips and uh, updates and stuff all the time so it's uh, something I recommend but hey it's your money you do what you want with it apparently you cannot put my code in and then uh, comic toms right after to get two weeks which I I thought was uh, was a really smart idea but apparently you can't do that so <laughs> anyways you get pick one or the other but uh, comic Tom has also got a, a code he's got a really great channel which I'm sure a lot of you know and if you haven't checked out his channel man you got to go check it out it is really good I love the weekly picks with him and Russ uh, they are so good. I got to go see Russ's store too down in, because uh, he's not too far from me. So anyways, I'm going to get into some books this week. Uh, I'm just going to run through a few of the books I picked up. Just touch on those before I get into what's coming out this week. I got my Gut Ghost number one, which I thought was, um, which was pretty good. I did not get the little the secret variant with the skull on the face. I showed that on my Instagram. I, I did not get one of those, but hey, I got the, uh, the variant there. So pretty happy about that. Uh, that one sold really well too. I got Manor Black number one. I only got the one cover. There's two covers for that. I just got the one. Picked up the Goo number five, which was supposed to be number four, but for whatever reason, they shipped out number five this past week. And then number four comes out next month. I don't know. So they screwed up somewhere. But anyways, I got cover A. And then I got the nice cardstock uh, cover with the dapper on the cover there, which I really like. Picked up my Avengers 22, which starts that challenge of the Ghost Riders storyline, and I got the Carnage Eyes, plus I got a couple of the other ones. Um, I showed this one on my Instagram. This is the um, origin of Lady Hellbender, and her first appearance is in Totally Awesome Hulk um, number one. I don't, I didn't, I should have dug it out of my comic box but i'll put an image of it on screen i'm sure you all know what it looks like but um if you haven't got that totally awesome hulk number one it's like a dirt cheap dollar bin book there's absolutely zero downside to that i would pick up a copy because it's your first amadeus cho as a hulk as well as your uh, first appearance of lady hellbender and number two of uh, totally awesome hulk has her on the cover and then that's her first full appearance so good ones to get if you can get them and they like i say they are dirt cheap so uh, picked up uh, Batman last night on Earth number two. I love that Greg Capullo cover. It's a good storyline. I really like that. Um, Powers of X, which I called it originally. It's actually Powers of Ten. I was watching an interview with Hickman, and I guess it's House of X and then Powers of Ten, and that's in reference to all the um, Omega, um, the levels of the mutants and everything. So really cool. Got your first appearance of Rasputin in this, who's kind of... Uh, combination of genes from a bunch of different mutants so I got that cover I got uh, the other cover with her on there well she's on a lot of covers so but I like that one 
<clears throat> I got the uh, the uh, oh, what the hell am I trying to say? The joining cover. What the? Ah, I'm having a brain fart. Anyways. <laughs> I got that cover there. Um, I did order that limited variant um, of only 500 with her on the cover. It's a really nice one. I haven't got that yet, so when I get it, I'll show you. I also picked up a couple um, from House of X. I got the one for 10. I wanted that one. I also got the one for 100. I picked up the Premier variant for House of X as well. And then I also got the uh, party sketch as well. Those I had to order off eBay. So paid i actually got a really good price on those so i can't be uh, i'm pretty happy with that anyways that's a few of the books i picked up this past week and i gotta give a big shout out to uh second comics he's one of my instagram followers he sent me a daredevil number two second print with um cole north on the cover man that's a low print run i was so happy to get that thank you so much my man and just so you know he's opening up a comic shop soon in connecticut and once he gets it, he sent me a couple pictures of it. Once it's open, I'll let you know about it because it looks really cool. You don't hear about many shops opening. All you hear about is stores closing. So I'm glad to hear he's uh, opening up a shop. It looks like it's going to be a nice one. So, But he sent me that as well as um, Daredevil second, uh, 610, the second print with uh, the Vigil on the cover. So that's awesome, man. I don't, appre I don't expect people to send me stuff, but I really do appreciate it when you do. I also got my... I showed this before, my Mortal Hulk number 19. Um, it's a Diodato cover and I got it from Comics Elite, but it came damaged and I got in touch with them and they said, oh man, really sorry. So they sent, they actually just sent me a second one, no charge, which uh, man, that's really good service. I've ordered a few books from it and I'll keep ordering from Comics Elite. They're really good. And then I showed this on my Instagram on the right. I got my, um, uh, Alex Ross San Diego Comic Con exclusive, the, the Virgin cover. It's an homage to Incredible Hulk number one from 1962. I love that cover. It's so nice. And you, as you all know, Alex Ross is just stunning work. So anyways, just want to talk about those real quick. We'll get into what I'm looking at this week. Um, from my indies, quite a few indies, and there's some really good ones. There's, uh, we'll start with uh, Image. Got, or sorry, start with IDW. There's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 95. The second print is out this week. So if you didn't, if you're like me and you didn't get the first one, first print, uh, I'm grabbing a copy of the second print. So we'll get that one for sure. That's it from IDW. From Image, got a few from them. There's Coffin Bound, number one. Just the one cover. It looks like an interesting book. It's already sold out by the looks of it, so uh, hopefully you can get a copy of that one. Uh, Die, number six, is out. Um, two covers for that one. And funny thing is, they've already announced a second print for number six, August 28th. So they've, you know... I don't know why they just don't make a higher print run of the first one, but hey, whatever. Anyways, so that is out as well as uh, Thumbs number three is out this week from Image and just the one cover for Thumbs, which has been pretty good. Um, I recommend that one. And then it's really interesting that they've got all these Image firsts coming out this week. There's a whole bunch of them, but a few of them I'm going to talk about. There's Gideon Falls uh, number one is out. And it's funny, that just came out last year. I recommended that right from the get-go. That was such a good series. And it's being made into a show, so it's uh, if you didn't get the first print, uh, you might want to pick that up. Ice Cream Man number one is uh, uh, image first is out again this week as well. You got Oblivion Falls. Um, there's a couple other ones, but the main ones are Gideon Falls or uh, Oblivion Song, sorry, not Obliv Oblivion Falls. Uh, but the main two that I'd be picking up is Gideon Falls and Ice Cream Man. Those look uh, if you didn't get like I say the first print, try to pick those up. From, uh, what else we got here? Dark Horse, we got Berserker Unbound. Number one is out. It's a Lemire Diodato. Um, Martin is uh, kind of the, you know, artist, writer, or writer, artist, colorist. Um, working on that, so you know it's going to be a pretty good series. And it's funny, it almost looks like, uh, you know, they brought Conan into the uh, MCU, or into the main MCU. It's almost like that's what this is about. It looks like Conan, but, you know, a different world, but it's Conan in the modern age. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, Mike Mignola is doing cover B on that one, which is kind of interesting too. So Red 5 has got Dark Age number one. Now this is one I recommended when the, on Free Comic Book Day. It started in that Free Comic Book Day and it continues on in this issue. So I hope you got the Free Comic Book Day of that. And then there's two covers for this one. Um, cover A is the only one I'm getting. I think cover B is a um, store incentive, so probably not going to get that one. But uh, definitely try to get Dark Age Red 5. They're usually really low print runs. And with um, Riptide, look like it's going to be optioned. There's a very good chance that uh, down the road this one may get optioned as well. So try to pick that up. 
from Source Point Press, you've got Dead End Kids, number one, just the one cover. Well, there's there's the main cover. There's a bunch of limited variants of different stores and stuff that uh, a lot of them have sold out already, but uh, I'm definitely picking that one up. That looks really good. So that is it for my independence, but there's some really good ones in there, man. There's a, it's funny how a lot of the independents now are that some of the stuff they're putting out is just fantastic stuff. So, anyways, rambling on here. Uh, DC you got Batman '76, two covers for that. You got a um, you know a decent cover A. Cover B is one of those cardstock covers, a really nice Delato cover. Boy, that's a that's an old boy cover there. I like that one. <laughs> Deceased number four, you got three covers as usual. You got kind of your uh, military looking one. Cover B is a really nice um, uh, Matina uh, Joker cover, that, and that's cardstock as well. And then you got your cover C cover, which I, I don't like that one too much. Justice League 29, this series has been really good, and with Apex Predator or Apex Lex Luthor coming along and making all these offers to everybody, it's interesting to see where that's going to go. We got two covers for that. I don't like the cover B, it's your standard pose and everything else. I'm just getting cover A for that one. That's it from DC, and really, there's not a they're really cutting back on their stuff. Uh, from Marvel, the big one this week from them is Absolute Carnage. We've been waiting this for this one for months. I sure hope it lives up to all the hype. Um, you got Kate's writing and Stegman doing the art, so it's going to be really good. It's going to be similar to what Venom, you know, when it came out. It's And I'm expecting some new characters to show up in this. Uh, it's over about three months, and there's definitely going to be some new stuff. So pay attention to this uh, mini, this crossover all the way through, because there will be some hot books in here. For this one, um, there's a whole bunch of covers. You'll see some on the screen. The one... I want to pay attention, you want you to take a look at it. is this Cooter Young Guns variant. Okay, there's a character on there. I don't know who that is. Is that a new character? Is it, um, is it like a, I don't know, it almost looks like a hobgoblin, but, or, uh, I don't know what that is. Anyways, <laughs> it just looks really, it's interesting. I don't know if that's a new character or not. So I'm definitely picking up that one because that could be a first cover appearance of a character. And the one, um, I had to order this one online. It's a Delato one for twenty-five. I really like that cover. It's just a gorgeous cover. Uh, a lot of you know, a lot of the shot. They'll probably be ordered pretty heavy, so you should be able to find that in the stores for a decent price. It's going to be a big print run for this one, so yeah, it's going to probably be pushing four hundred thousand. I would think. Agents of Atlas number one. Um, there's a bunch of covers for that one. I, one I really like is there's a cover with Wave on there. She's I don't know, of all the characters that came out of that, I think she's probably going to be the most popular. So. Uh, that's out this week. One of the, my favorite series right now, Daredevil number nine is out, and there's two covers for this one. <clears throat> I really like cover A. It's probably the only one I can get. Cover B is okay. It's got Bullseye on there, but um, at some point we're going to find out who this other Daredevil is. It's running around, um, uh, pissing off the Kingpin and everything else. So you know we're gonna probably find out a bit more about that and like i say i think cole north is definitely tied in i don't know if it's his kid or nephew or what it is but uh, it's something's going on there so hopefully we find out this issue future foundation number one is out this week a bunch of covers for that i don't know if i'm going to get that one i'll be honest with you it's kind of, kind of on the fence with that one um, like i say you may or may not want it but i don't know if i'm going to get it House of X number two is out this week. These, you know, as you know, they the the alternate between House of X, Powers of Ten, uh, back and forth week. And I really like how it's a weekly um, title too, which is really cool because it's a good, it's really good. And again, the second print has already been announced for August twenty first, which is which is funny. I don't know. I guess it's sold out already at the distributor level, so they've announced a second print. But a bunch of covers for that one as usual. I don't get all of them. I try to, you know, I'll pick a couple of the ones I like, but um, a lot of them I don't like, so I don't get them. But it's been really good, and I highly recommend it. This last Powers of Ten, boy, there was like four, four or five first appearances in there, so really good one to get. Immortal Hulk number 22. I don't know what to say. If you aren't buying Immortal Hulk, just like if you aren't buying Venom, I don't know why you're collecting comics, but it's really good. And they talk about the forces of chaos in here, so I don't know what, if that's just because um, Mortal Hulk, um, the Red Harpy, and Rick Jones are teaming up, so you're basically getting your first team appearance of the Forces of Chaos, which could be kind of interesting. And I'm kind of thinking uh, there's something up with Rick Jones because he's on the cover walking um, beside the Hulk there with the green glowing eyes. So I don't know if he's going to be uh, back to being a bomb 
in this issue or what, but uh, man, pick up a Moral Hulk. It's so good. Major X number zero is out. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably not going to get it, but uh, <laughs> just letting you know it's out there. Savage Avengers number four is out. That's been pretty good so far. Um, so I'll probably pick up cover A for that one. So that is it for my uh, for my books, for my covers. There's Batman 76 cover B, a really nice set. Delato uh, cardstock. I mentioned that one. It's really, really nice. Deceased number four cover B is, my, is another uh, cardstock. That one by Matina. Deathstroke 46 cover B. That's a scan variant. That looks really nice as well. Uh, one I haven't been buying, well, I shouldn't say I haven't been buying, it's number one, but uh, Death Defying Devil, number one. There's a couple of covers by Kirkham, They're, well, the same image, but one's a trade and one's a virgin. It's a really nice looking image, so that's uh, that's another one. I might pick that one up just for the cover. And Immortal Hulk 22, cover B, it's a Ryan Brown cover. And he, man, Ryan Brown does some really nice work. I, so he did a couple exclusive covers for... Um, Oh, damn it. Who was I bought them from? Comics Elite, I believe it was. They were really nice. The Spider-Man uh, 24 and 25. Boy, those were really nice. He does some nice work. So that's it for my covers. For my picks, I got a whole bunch this week. So hold on. Uh, there's a bunch of independents. So Dark Age number one, that's almost a must-buy. That it looks really good. And it's going to be a low print run. And I highly suspect that one will get picked up at some point. So Dark Age number one for sure. Die number six, we all know, well, you all know how good that series has been and how popular it is. It's already got a second print coming, so try to pick up the first print if you can get it. Dead End Kids number one, that looks really good. Um, just the one cover that I can see for that, so I'm definitely going to try and get that. Coffin Bound number one, that's another one that uh, it looks like it's sold out at the distributor level already, but a lot of the shops should have some copies in, we'll have to see. You might want to give your shop a call ahead of time and just say, hey, I want these books. Uh, Daredevil number nine has been one of the best series going. And like I say, we're going to find out who that other dare, who's running around and um, uh, posing as Daredevil at some point. It's going to be kind of interesting because I think it's Cole North, related to Cole North. Immortal Hulk 22. I don't know what I need to tell you about Immortal Hulk. It's on my list every time. It's so good. It's one of the best things going right now. Absolute Carnage, that one is definitely on there. Even though it's a high print run, it's going to be a really good series. But just be warned, it is a $7.99 cover price. I mean, you know how Marvel is. so. Uh, but that's going to be really good. I suspect you're going to get new first appearances throughout the series. So hang on to your hat. And then honorable mention is uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 95. The second print, that one is, uh, is out this week as well. And I just got to talk real quick. Um about powers of x and house of x and all that and i just wanted to this is kind of put your tinfoil hat on for a second i just want to point out that um cb sobolski was brought in as the editor-in-chief november 2017 um hickman was uh in talks with marvel the same time kind of when he found out that cb sobolski is brought in as uh, editor-in-chief that's kind of when he said oh yeah maybe they so they really started seriously talking to him and it's kind of interesting that that November 2017 is when Disney decided to go after Fox and get the rights to the X-Men and Fantastic Four and that whole bit. And it's kind of funny how they, um, the X-Men series was, I don't want to say it was terrible, but it wasn't very good. It just seemed like it wasn't really going anywhere. And I don't know if they did that on purpose. I mean, I, I know in this, you're like, oh, no, they wouldn't do that. Come on, Jim. But yeah, you know what, business, when you're talking billions of dollars, um, I could absolutely see them potentially tanking a series to uh, drive down the interest in it. The movies were bad from Fox, and uh, it's kind of funny that as soon as they got the rights to um, Fox, which was only a few months ago, all of a sudden we're launching this brand new series, and... Uh, all I can say is I really recommend you pick up this new series. <laughs> Anyways, just some info I got. So, 
uh, uh, that is it for you, folks. I don't have a. T I got some. I got a pretty good spec book for you, but I just have to hunt down a copy for myself because I don't have it, and I don't want to say what it is before I get a copy because I don't want to pay ten times what I can find it for right now. <laughs> so I will tell you that in the next video, uh, or or follow me on Instagram, and I'll let you know in there. A lot of you do anyway. So that's it for today, folks. Talk to you later. Happy hunting. There's some really good stuff coming out this week. Uh, that is it. Bye for now.